Hello, it's finally September and it's finally time for me to go on some sort of vacation or holiday or trip. I have uploaded a separate video of repairing the pets and just preparing for someone to come care for them. So that's going to be linked in the iCards and the description. But if you've watched that video, you know that I've not been on any sort of holiday or really long trip away in the six years I have owned rats and mice. So it is definitely, definitely long overdue. And there is a part of me that's sad to leave them because... I have not really done anything like that. I think mostly the one that I'm worried about is Hubble because for the two years that we've had him, he's always had at least one of us. So I'm trying not to think about it because the thought of him thinking that we're not coming back makes me eternally sad. So I'm not gonna think too much about it, but we're actually going on a trip to York if you live in the UK. Hopefully you know where York is, but we're actually going with Pudding's breeder, which is Lynn. And I'm really excited because Funnily enough, we've never actually met in person and we booked a holiday together. So it's gonna be really interesting. We're gonna do a bunch of fun things. And then we're also heading from York to Cheshire. So that is for a bunch of reasons that I will tell you in the rest of the video, but we're going to Chester Zoo and also meeting up with our dog breeder before we get our puppy. So that's gonna be really exciting. And also in this video, we're gonna squeeze in a trip to Bacchus Residence, which is a small animal rescue here in the UK that takes in rabbits. I think they also have a skunk and they also do mice and rats too. So I'm really excited to meet them for the first time and just check out their rescue and show you guys some of the animals that they have up for adoption. Here's the boys, they're doing so, so well. I'm honestly so proud of them for how well they're getting along considering the issues we had with Crumpet attacking the babies when I first did intros. I really was not expecting it to be as smooth as it had. We've got Mr. Kinder there. And then also the other boys have decided the shelf is a good place to sleep. So they're just still technically in intros. They're in half of this cage and they're going to stay in this whilst I go away. So you've been so good. I'm so proud of you. It's really nice to actually have well-rounded, well-behaved rats for once. I was saying this to my channel members that it feels nice and complete not to have to worry about neutering anyone. Touch wood, no one kicks off whilst I'm away. But it's really nice just to have a well-rounded well-behaved group of boys because that's not happened in a long long time huh i was saying as well it's been making me laugh so much just how much the adults put up with these two babies are the most hyper babies i've had in a very very long time and they are pinging around the cage resting the adults and the adults let them pin them down you've got pudding who was literally a three times the size of these tiny boys oh big yawns and he lets them pin him down so it's really nice to see them interacting and doing normal rat behaviors. I've not had a group this stable in a long, long time, so it's very, very cute to watch. You're such a pushover, aren't you? Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Look how dirty you are. Hello. Hi. Uh, no. No nibbling. I'll miss you. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. He spotted another cat. <laughs> Who's that? Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> What's her name? Oh my god!
Hi, so me from the future here. The next couple of clips you were going to see was when we travelled down from York to Cheshire and it paid a visit to Bacchus residence. But I've just got finished editing all of those clips and that alone is like 20 minutes worth of footage so I don't want to cut anything out or try to squeeze into this video because it's all really important so that's going to be its own separate video hopefully coming soon please please watch that when it comes out because it's a really important topic and there's lots of animals looking for homes so that's not going to be in this vlog and of course before that we did pay a visit to our dog breeder and we met our dog's mummy for the first time which was so surreal so I did take a couple of pictures but I'm not going to put them into this either because that's someone's pet and it's a bit weird but the next day after all of that I was exhausted by this point but we paid a visit to Chester Zoo and I wanted to talk about that and show you some of the enclosures. Now I know there are so so many people out there that are very anti-zoo and fair enough if you are because there are some really horrific examples of zoos out there that don't have the animals best interest at heart but looking at the bigger picture a lot of these animals and these species don't have a place in the wild anymore and zoos like Chester Zoo are the ones that are funding and doing all of the conservation work so looking at the bigger picture it's not completely black and white. Chester Zoo does so so much work for conservation and preserving species and hands down I've been to so many zoos worldwide in Europe, in Asia, in America. This is hands down the best one I've ever been to in terms of how the animals are kept. They are given so so much enrichment. I was so impressed by all of the foraging toys and just mimicking their natural environment as closely as possible. Just walking around as a human I felt like I was in that environment and in that country so I imagine the animals feel somewhat similar which is a good thing and um, for people that aren't as clued up about animals and enrichment there's so many signs kind of explaining why they've done certain things and why it's useful and good for the animals and the enclosures themselves are just incredible and beautiful and immersive. I have never seen setups like this that are one so big and spacious for the animal without actually compromising on your ability to see them and educate young children on the importance of these animals. These animals have so so much space that you cannot physically walk around the entire zoo. In a day it's just not possible. We attempted it and we almost did it but it was quite hard so the animals have so so much space but you can still see them and learn about them and it's just incredible. You know, often when you visit a zoo or a safari park, there's always at least one animal that I look at and think, I think their enclosure could be a bit bigger, or they're perhaps unhappy, or displaying certain stereotypical behaviours like pacing or bar chewing. Even down to like the insects at Chester Zoo, bear in mind they have thousands and thousands of animals. There wasn't one that I saw personally that I thought was unhappy or not set up in its environment correctly, so that was really refreshing to see. And even some of the animals, you look at their outdoor enclosure and think, oh, it's not the biggest compared to some of the other animals. Turn the corner, it just continues and continues. A lot of zoos, for whatever reason, whether it's ease of cleaning or something, their indoor like sleeping quarters are just a concrete room with a door and some straw on the bottom. A lot of them provided enrichment in that area. So the jaguars, for example, they had a whole jungle forest area just in a sleeping area alone, which I was just blown away by.
alive, everyone is doing good. And I was watching Rue on her camera just to check if she was eating her eggs or not. Hello, you okay? <laughs> and I got probably the craziest photos I've got so far of her eating an egg. And I'll insert that here because it's pretty impressive to watch. Goodness, you've been busy. What have you been doing? Have you been digging? Wow, you have, huh? <laughs> so, since I got back, I have given the boys the entire cage to themselves. Pudding is chewing something, and I didn't film the process of doing this because I just wanted to get it done and give them more space. And filming things doubles the amount of time it takes to do it, so. Look at him. They just let them walk all over them and do anything. Look. They're such good boys, honestly, but it's looking a bit bare because I need to wash a bunch of hammocks that are all in that bag over there. So I will do that tomorrow. But I'm going to let the babies out to have their first ever free roam because they are so energetic and so excitable that I think they'll really enjoy having the space. So let's let them out and see what they think. They're going to be so shook. Obviously they did have some sort of, oh my god. <laughs> Obviously they did have some sort of free roam when I was bonding with them, but I kept it very small scale. I kept them either on my bed or on a desk. Not giving them the entire room. I have blocked off certain areas because I don't trust them fully yet, but I really want them to have space to run around. So hopefully they'll come out. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's off. He's off. Where are you going? <laughs> he has grown into the most energetic, hyper, crazy boy. Oh my gosh. Pudding's like, how are you there? And I'm here. Oh, please be careful. Don't fall. Don't fall. Stop tormenting Pudding. <laughs> He's like, here I am. I get a delivery from Lynn or now meet her in person I guess I get all the pet things that she just doesn't want that are so so random but I'm so excited by so first thing is this which I thought was a really nice hide to match the rat's theme I am gonna have to tape something on the top to protect their little toes and fingers from getting stuck in the gaps but I was like yes I'm having that <laughs> And then we have this coconut bird feeder, which I hate the texture of. I'm not touching this. Um, but if we turn it this way, no, not that way. Turn, turn. It looks a lot cuter. So either give this to these mice or the harvest mice. Not sure yet, but let's put that over there because I hate touching that. <laughs> and then we have this carrier, which is hands down the weirdest carrier I've ever seen. And I know I'm opening myself up to so many questions anytime I post the pets like showing them in intros or just showing them going to the vets. I'm gonna get so many questions like, oh my God, where is your carrier from? The answer is we have no idea. I think on the bottom, it says it was made in Italy or bought from Italy or something. So please don't ask me where this is from because I have never seen anything like this. It's kind of strange, but actually functions really well because really easy to open at the front. I'm not gonna get their feet stuck. The camera is not focusing. And I did need a bigger carrier for the rats because Five or six big male rats just won't fit in the carrier comfortably, so this is going to work a lot better. And 
fits my aesthetic a lot more so thank you for that I actually really like this even though it is kind of ugly I think you can also open it from that way as well not sure why you'd want to but interesting thank you <laughs> Oh, also, something we did which is a huge improvement to the exoterras that need high humidity is we used the Perspex from the old rat cage, so the Perspex tray for the Pet Planet cage. I kept this because I was like, I've spent 50, 60 quid on this, I am not throwing it away. Um, so I kept the Perspex with the idea of using it for something else, and we've cut it to size, well I say we, I didn't do any of the cutting did I? We've cut it to size and then we've put it onto the snail enclosure on this bit and then this bit at the back. So that's gonna to help to keep the humidity in and it's doing a pretty good job. So on that and then also on this empty one, which I know everyone is curious what's going in here. It is gonna be a frog tank. We are just putting it off because we've had so many other things to do, but I'll get around to doing this eventually. But we went ahead and cut the perspex. I'm saying we again, it was my idea. I did not execute this. I have no idea how to cut perspex, but we put perspex on all of these sides. If it does get too humid, I can just take one of the panels off, but they're not like a perfect fit, so that looks way better than having cling film. Cling film was kind of ugly, and when I got back, my snail had somehow pulled the cling film into the enclosure, which is not ideal, so this looks way better. I definitely recommend. When I tell you I've had this pin board for months and done nothing with it, but I've been waiting for the pictures to arrive because I really thought it'd be cute to, oh, please excuse my nails, they're falling off at this point. I really thought it'd be cute to display a picture of every single rat and mouse I've had. And of course, I've already got new ones since then. I have not got pictures of the harvest mice, but I will get some at some point and stick them on. But I thought this would be really cute up here somewhere. I am running out of wall space, but I wanted somewhere to display every single one that I've had or that I've got. So starting on this side, we've got Scampi, Rolo, all the way through to Dove and Fleet who passed away recently. And then we've got all of my current rats and mice. So putting all the way through to my new ones, Kinder and Arrows. So I'm gonna do this and then get someone to help me put this up here somewhere. <laughs> oh, also my agility kit is just sat really sad in the corner. I don't really use this too much anymore. And to be honest, I kind of regret painting it blue and green a bit. Um, and this was actually up on this shelf, but every time you shut the door, this would fall off, which is not ideal. So it's kind of just shoved in this. I don't have any storage boxes that it fits in and it just floats around the room. So if anyone would like this and can actually put better use to it because I am probably not gonna use this anytime soon. If anyone wants to buy this off me, not for very much, I'll post this on my Instagram and you can just have it if you want it. Probably needs a paint touch up because it's kind of faded in the sun, but someone else can put this to better use because I'm not. <laughs> I think they look so cute. I definitely thought I had more rats and mice, but put it like this, it doesn't look like too many. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I run out of space, but we will cross that bridge when I come to it. But that is it for this video. I think I filmed so much at the start of the month because so much was happening, but I've not wanted to clog up the rest of this and make it too long. But it's just been one of those months where a lot of things have been happening. We've been talking about a lot of things and making decisions and changes. And I never want to be that YouTuber that's like, oh my God, so many exciting things are happening and I can't tell you about them, but they're all animal related and I feel really positive about all of them. I'm just making certain decisions for me or for animals. One of which is I have a guinea pig in my office that I rescued and if you'd have told me at the start of the month or last month that I would have a guinea pig in my house I'd be like no way there is no way I'm gonna have a guinea pig living in my office but there is one and I really enjoy that side of things and rescuing things and we're trying to put something together to do that again in the future so that's really exciting but 
I think that is everything that I wanted to update you on in this video. Of course, a big, big thank you to my channel members. I'll put the name of the rat tears on screen. And of course, if you are interested in becoming a channel member, we've got our cute little group chat on Instagram. If you're already a channel member and you're not in that group chat and you want to be, comment your username on one of the channel member posts or something. But if you are interested in joining and helping me continue to be at home and do crazy things like rescuing guinea pigs, I really want to rescue more animals in the future. The join button is underneath this video, but don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, which should hopefully be either visiting Bacchus residence or rescuing the guinea pig, who knows? But don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.